everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a good one. So today's video is going to be a Hot Look haul or Hot Look. I'll leave everything about Hot Look down below in the description box. It's essentially a flash sale site that's run through Nordstrom Rack where different brands have events that are only up for two or three days. And there's a mixture of um, beauty brands in their beauty section. And one of the brands that I recently placed an order through is Laura Geller. And this, the orders typically take or don't ship out till about two, three weeks after the event has ended. So it does take about a month for an order that you place to arrive. That's what deters a lot of people from shopping on this site. They don't like to wait that long to receive the products. But I like purchasing from Hot Look because you get between 30 and 70% off some of these higher end brands. So the very first thing I purchased is this set called It's a Pink Thing. And it comes with this really cute makeup bag. It has a little set of lips down here on the bottom. Um, and it's a pretty big little makeup bag. I, I love collecting makeup bags. I find them very useful. I really like separating everything in the, the massive purses that I carry. So I like to have everything in like little makeup bags. But the makeup bag came with a full size blush. And this is the baked flambe blush in pink velvet pop and this is what the blush looks like and this is how it swatches it does swatch a little light for my skin tone but possibly in the winter time I'll be able to get away with wearing this blush. I hope you guys can see it and that my camera is focusing. But it does have a very, very, very light sheen to it. So it is more of a highlighting blush. I could probably get away with wearing this as a highlighter. But the formula for these are just, they're just so smooth. I really, really like these blushes. And they, they smell, they have like a very light like fragrance to them, but it's not, um, overwhelming so the next thing in the scent in the in the scent the next thing in the set is this color drenched lip gloss and it's in the color poppin pink i'm not typically a lip gloss wearer uh i tend to like uh just pretty much just a clear gloss to put on top of my um my lip colors so as you guys can see this is very glossy it does have some pretty good pigment to it but it's also just a little bit a little sheer enough that it's um you can wear this on top of another lip color and it it or a, a similar lip color and it won't really alter the color too much but um sorry for my weird face when i'm applying it it's not sticky which is I, I, I hate lip glosses that are sticky. The only thing is that the scent is just, it has a little bit of a cosmetic scent, but it's not overwhelming. There's some lip glosses that I've tried that are just, whew, they just smell really bad. Um, but it's not overwhelming. So I, I do like, I, I can see getting a lot of use out of this. It's, it's a color that's right up my alley. So the next thing in the bag in that little trio is the Baked Flambe Eyeshadow in Pink Chocolate Pop. And this is what the eyeshadow looks like. And this one, um, I think you do just have to swirl everything together. It's kind of an interesting color. It's like this chocolatey, like a purple chocolatey, chocolatey gray. That's it down there. I don't know if you guys can see how it has like a little bit of like a silver grayish look to it. Um, I, I, I don't know. This would be really pretty for the all like all over the lid. You might be able to concentrate just on the pink, like the light pink part. But not so much on like the brown part so I try to concentrate more on the brown part right there and then on the light pink part of the eyeshadow so that's the light the light pink part of the eyeshadow 
and that's the browner part of the eyeshadow and that's what it looks like mixed together so you might be able to concentrate your brush in um one of those uh, colors but I might actually try it all swirled together. I kind of, I haven't seen an eyeshadow that looks like that with everything kind of swirled together. So the next six products that, um, actually let me start off with the, the coolest looking products. So this is their Baked Gelato Vivid Flower Blush in the color Pink Dahlia. And this is what the packaging look like. It, it comes in the, um, like the highlighter packaging. And this is what the product looks like. It's so pretty. I don't even want to swatch this, but this is pretty much just like a light pink. And then this is more of like a, like a rosy pink, but I don't even want to swatch this, but I'll, I'll lightly swatch it for you guys. It's just so pretty. It feels really smooth and it's very, very pigmented. So that's what it looks like right there. I did blend it out a little, a little bit because you obviously wouldn't wear it uh, super intense on your cheeks, but I do really like that color and this blush is just beautiful. I haven't seen um, this blush, so I don't know if it was like a limited edition blush or like a holiday blush or whatnot. So I haven't, I actually have never seen that particular blush style but the next ones I have seen these in um, in store so the very first one is the blush and brighten blush in the color berry and that's what it looks like right there it's just one of her like marbled baked blushes and this does have like a goldish sheen to it And that's it right there. It does have a goldish sheen to it. It is a very pigmented blush. Very, very pretty. This will be perfect for the winter time. And the next blush and brighten blush that I got is in Golden Apricot. And that's what it looks like right there. And these blushes are absolutely huge. I was surprised at how big they are and this is just a very golden peachy blush it does have that golden shimmer throughout the blush so that's the blush right there as you guys can see it does have a really nice shimmer to it and it's more of a golden apricotty peachy blush absolutely beautiful so I'm really excited to wear this one in the summertime and the next one is the Blush and Brighten in Roseberry. And this one doesn't have as much marbling as the other ones do, but is the, it is this really nice rose color. It doesn't feel as soft as the other ones. You can feel like the the chunks of glitter in there but you don't really see glitters but it does feel a little chunkier and it doesn't actually show up as shimmery as the other blushes do so that's it right there and as you can see it's not it doesn't have that intense of a sheen or a shimmer like the other ones do but it is a really nice um rosy color so i'm really really liking that and I think this one is appropriate for all year round. I really like uh, rose colored blushes. The next two blushes that I got are actually the ombre blushes, the ombre baked blushes. And this one is in peach blossom. And this one did come a little bit damaged and I emailed um, because I guess the, um, the pan had popped out of the blush. And I emailed customer service and they refunded me for the whole product, even though I told them that I could glue um, the pan back into the compact, but the uh, it was only like slightly scratched on the top portion of the blush. So that's it right there. It is a, 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 a lighter pink. It's actually very similar to the pink velvet pop 
actually no it's not it's not really similar at all so that's pink velvet pop and that's the uh peach blossom and it's a little bit more on the matte i would say satin it's not necessarily matte and then um the other one is in pink blossom the other ombre blush that i got so that's in pink blossom and so again this is the pink blossom blush and that's it right down there that's pink blossom that's the pink velvet and that's peach blossom so so these three are very very light and subtle they have a very very slight sheen to them but they're not as shimmery as these up here um, as the baked and brighten so the, again those were the ombre baked blushes and, and like I said both of these did come a little bit damaged because the pan had um, come out of the um, the uh, compact and so it was moving around a little bit and then the very last blush that I got is the baked heart blush and highlighter in pink Valentine and this blush actually came pretty much completely shattered in the pan I'll insert um, a picture of what it looks like right here but I was able to salvage it just a little bit that's what the color that's what the color looks like right there and the reason I salvaged this is because it pretty much reminded me of the blush in the NARS blush orgasm that's what the blush looks like right there it has a very like strong shimmer or sheen to it it's like that peachy pink color that's just in my opinion absolutely gorgeous for the summertime and I really really like this color blush this is my one of my favorite um, colors in uh, and blush form I have every single dupe for NARS orgasm another one that's very very similar is the bombs hot mama it's that pinky peachy color with that gold shimmer in it it does crumble very very easily it is a pretty soft blush so I didn't want to waste it it's just such a pretty blush this they did offer me a full refund for this um, and they said I didn't have to send back any of the blushes they just went ahead and offered me the refund for it I just I love Hot Look. I, there's not there's I mean really I love Hot Look. It's just it's a great site. If you haven't used that site yet, excuse me, my nose is running. If you haven't used that site yet, um, I definitely recommend it. So that's everything that I purchased from Laura Geller. I'm so excited to start playing with these blushes. I've heard really good things about them. Give this video a thumbs up if you like hauls. Uh, like I said, I get a lot of items um, from Hot Look, so I can post like these one brand hauls more often if you guys are interested in seeing what I get from the beauty section. Comment down below if there's um, a makeup brand or a, a, a one brand makeup collection video that you want to see. If I try to do my entire collection in one video, it would just be way too long. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I tend to talk a lot in my videos. So um, again, give this video a thumbs up, especially if you like chatty videos. Um, I Please don't forget to subscribe so you get notifications every time I post a video. I'm currently posting two to three times a week. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.